I'm a fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo and today I'm gonna show you how to kick higher. Now a lot of people think that in order to kick higher you have to be flexible and flexibility is super important to kick higher. However, there is a bunch of exercises that you can do for flexibility, range of motion, and strength, also that you can get those high kicks. And today, I'm gonna be showing you some of those. Make sure that you stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how to download the seven day workout routine that I made so that you can start working on your kicks every single day of the week. You can check out the link, it'll be in the description below. So make sure that you download that so you can follow along. This is day one. Make sure that you subscribe if you wanna see the rest of the days. All right, now let's go ahead and get started on how to get higher kicks. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna start off with are some stretches. Make sure that you, before you start this, you are warmed up all the way. If you need some suggestions on how to warm up, I have a video that I will create an info card like somewhere up here too. Once you're all the way warmed up, then let's go ahead and start on these stretches. So feel free to follow along. The first one that we're gonna be doing is a front lunge. So for your front lunge, you're gonna go ahead and put one knee out like this. You're gonna put your hands on your hips right where your belt is, and you're just gonna go ahead and push forward. You're gonna feel a stretch right in your hip flexor right here. Go ahead and hold that for about 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And switch sides. Same thing on this side. Make sure your knee is far enough out. You don't want it to look like this. You want it at kind of about a 90 degree angle. Hands on your hips and go ahead and push your hips in. Feeling it right in the hip flexor. And let's go ahead and do another 20, uh, 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. Okay, the next stretch is called wall splits and you're gonna have to find a wall just like this. Turn around and face the wall like this. You're gonna lay down with your feet up on the wall. Try and scoot as close to the wall as you can. Your feet are out right in front of you and you're just gonna open your legs up like the splits. Try and go as far down as you can and you're just gonna hold when you get to your furthest point for 20 seconds. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If along the way you find you can go a little further, go ahead and push those legs down even more. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and relax. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is the pike stretch. For the pike stretch, what I want you to do is pick a side. Both of your legs are gonna be straight out in front of you. What I like to do before I get started with this stretch is put my hands to the side and just kind of scoop my butt back a little bit. That kind of helps me keep my back straight while I'm doing this stretch. You're gonna keep your knees stretched. You can point your toes or flex your toes depending on what kind of stretch you want. And all you're gonna do is reach down and hold for 20 seconds. Let's go ahead and do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and relax. Now notice when I did that pike stretch, one thing you wanna try and do is keep your back as straight as you can. You don't wanna be trying to get your head down to your knees and your back's all curvy like this. Try and instead keep your back up straight and instead of reaching down, try and reach forward and keep your back as long and as straight as you can. Okay, now the next thing that we're gonna do is the hamstring stretch. So put both of your legs in front of you bent up like this. You're gonna lift one of your legs on top of your knee Good, just like this. And pretty much, you're just gonna try and get your chest to touch your leg right here. So try and get these as close as possible as you can. Go ahead and hold for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
1920. Now we're gonna do this on the other side as well, but I'm gonna show you a slight variation of how you can do this one while lying down. So go ahead and put your other leg up, and all you're gonna do is lay back like this. Leg is still in its place, you're gonna grab with your hands, and you're just gonna try and pull in that leg so that you can feel that nice hamstring stretch down here and hold for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and relax. And that is all for the stretches. Now we're gonna move on to those drills. Okay, the first drill that we're gonna do today is gonna be called a three second step hold. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a wall just like this. Go ahead and put one hand on it and we're gonna aim our kick right away from the walls in the opposite direction. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your leg up like this. You're gonna pivot over. You're gonna hold this step right here for three seconds. One, two, three. You're gonna extend it out one, two, three, retract it back in, one, two, three, and push it down. Every step that you do is gonna be for three seconds each. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. I'll do a couple so you can kind of get a look and see how it is, and then feel free to go ahead and do all 10 on your own. But let's try a couple more together, ready? One hand on the wall, knee comes up, Pivot, make sure your foot that's on the ground is all the way turned, toes facing the wall. Hold for three seconds, one, two, three. Extend it out for three seconds, one, two, three. Bring it back in, one, two, three, and all the way down. Remember, you're gonna wanna do 10 of these on each side. Okay, the next drill that we have are gonna be called kick holds. For kick holds, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same uh, kind of kick with the wall. You're gonna need a wall for all of the exercises today, actually. If you don't have a wall, then go ahead and grab a chair or a bag, anything that you can kind of hold on to. I'm gonna keep using the wall. This time, instead of going through each step for three seconds, we're gonna kick it out full speed, full power, hold it out for three seconds, come back in, and then down. Actually, let's not do three seconds. Let's go ahead and bump it up to five seconds so we can get a little bit more strength in there. All right, go ahead and hold on to the wall. This time I'm gonna be doing the drill with a side kick. So I'm gonna bring my knee up. I'm gonna go from right here. We're gonna shoot it out. Hold one, two, three, four, five, back in and down. That is one. We're gonna do 10 reps. You can either put your foot down in between each one or you can keep your knee up the whole entire time depending on what you're used to. Just try and go and head and kick as high up as you can and hold it there as soon as it gets there. If you're not at the height that you want yet, just go ahead and go and do it as high as you can. It will increase as you keep practicing. Let's do a couple more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, Five. Don't forget you're gonna wanna do 10 on each side. Okay, this next one, we're still on the wall. This next drill is called low kick, raise, high kick. This is the way it works. Go ahead and hold onto the wall. This time around, I'm gonna be doing a roundhouse kick. Feel free to do a roundhouse kick or side kick, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna do a fast kick down low about knee level like this. From here, I'm gonna lift it as high up as I can go, and I'm gonna do one more kick and back down. Same thing, low kick, raise it up, high kick. Bring it back down. Low kick, raise it up, high kick, and back down. Every time that you do one low, one high counts as one, you're gonna do 10 on each side. Okay, now we have one last drill on the wall today. For this drill, what we're gonna be doing is making a giant figure eight with our legs. So imagine that you have a big whiteboard in front of you, you pretend you have a marker in between your toes, and you're just gonna be drawing a big circular figure eight like this with your leg. Doesn't matter how high up you go, just go at your own pace, and remember this is to strengthen it. If you don't have those high kicks yet, it's gonna help strengthen it and get that flexibility up there. So let's go ahead and do a couple. So you're gonna go ahead and grab onto the wall and get your low roundhouse kick up. From here, you're gonna start on the bottom part of the figure eight, circle around, back around, make the second half, 
and all the way back down. That is one. Let's do a couple more, ready? Around one side, other side, two. Try and keep your leg as straight as you can. Again, three, four, five. And you can go all the way to 10, 10 on each side. All right, you guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. Make sure that you work on these drills. This is gonna be the drills for Monday. If you do want the seven day workout guide for how to get higher kicks, we go through different drill sets every day of the week. So make sure that you check out the link in the description below and get that downloaded. If, it, if you find that it is helping you, leave me a comment in the comments below. Let me know if you're able to kick higher after a week, two weeks, depends on how long you do it and how dedicated you are to working on this. If you guys want those high kicks, make sure you are working at it every single day. The only rest day that we have is Sunday. But take it at your own pace. Everyone improves differently. Everyone starts off in different places. The point is if you get those goals that you set out for yourselves. I will see you guys all next time. Make sure that you subscribe so you can get the rest of the days. I'm gonna keep doing Tuesday through Saturday. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.